Well, as I said last time I shot a video, it was about a yeller theme. Yeller grinders, yeller ear muffs. And then y'all was making fun of me because I was using a little red, a small vice. And I just can't believe people make fun of a small vice. But I understand that some of you, that's just that way. So today we're going to be doing a red theme. And the red theme is because I've got this here. Uh, angle cordless angle grinder brushless and the thing I liked about it more than anything else is it takes my Milwaukee M18 red fuel batteries and uh, it does pretty doggone good job that thing cost about 79 bucks and my Milwaukee cost me I think 359 bucks so far I can't tell any difference in them except I like the trigger on this one better. And that's not saying Milwaukee ain't the best because we all know they are. This brand is so good they don't even put a name on it. If you have to worry about the name they don't even want to sell you one of them. Now that's that believe, that's believing in yourself right there and I, I appreciate them believing themselves. It's got a model number on it here right here don't know if y'all can read that or not is it close enough for you to see your finger in there so to execute a blur out we don't want to blur out we want that thing to get in there where you can see it it says it's x o o 42 m s i m 5 i think that's code for red 20 volt cordless grinder I don't know, don't hold me to that. But now today, I'm going to use the same thing I used back then. And uh, if you remember and you saw that yellow video, I took this old air hammer chisel and I, it had JB Weld all over it. I loaned it to somebody and I got it back that way. Still got some right in there, right over here. And I cleaned it up pretty good, resharpened it, and that was really sharp to begin with. But I just needed to clean it off and I wanted to go ahead and make a grinding video so y'all can see how good that thing worked. And that yellow one worked good. And I started to do this with the other one. And it was doing a really nice job on it. It's just that it was loose, kept falling off. So here's what I'm going to do. Today, I'm going to take my little red vise. And it's red, so y'all leave it alone. Don't, don't be talking about how little it is. That's really not very nice, y'all. I have to admit, though, it does sometimes have that Napoleonic attitude. And I, you know, some people call it small, small syndrome thing, you know. And it has that, too. And I, you know, but that's okay. It's, everything's got attitude. Everything's got a personality. And uh, I appreciate all of you guys, and I appreciate my little red vice. All right, so now here we go. To stay with the theme of things, we're going to put on our red hearing cups. Don't talk to me because I won't be able to hear you. Now, to make this a fair deal, as you can see, I've got these Inventor, yellow Inventor disc on here. And that's what we used last time. We're going to use the same disc. So here we go. Let's see if it works. Yeah, buddy. Oh Lordy, hang on a minute, I, I cheated, I didn't let y'all see what I was doing. My apologies, you know I am old. So let's get down here 
And now let's get you zeroed in. Let's see if you can see that any better. You gotta be able to see it better. You couldn't see it all. Well, go. All right. Now I'm gonna lean on this thing, which is what I always do. I had my foot right underneath that little sucker. And I guess somebody was talking about my little red vice because it fell off hitting me right on foot. So it's mad about something. And I don't think at this time it's about that Napoleonic comment it might have been. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that stuff. Now then, that's hot. I leaned on it pretty good. I also changed an angle right here. This was much steeper. I just drew that out and I started to cut into the blade there and that's when the vise decided to see if it could cut off my big toe. I'm not sure but it may have so I don't want to pull my sock off right now because ain't no telling what would be underneath all that. Probably look like hamburger. Alright. Now then. This time since that vise doesn't want me to mess with it. It's not a good test. It's doing a good job of rust cleanup. And the thing with me is, if you see the blood on my finger, you can tell that, that these things not just grind, they will take meat off too. All right. Now I'm going to say, again, I've said this to someone else, I like this little machine, it comes with a extra thick and extra thick, I apologize for all you English Nazis out there. This, uh, this is not a real thick grinder disc, but I've got some in there that are quarter inch, I've got some 5 sixteenths and they'll all fit inside here real well. So that's going to be, let's see here. Hang on, I'm trying to see if I got a, not quite yet. All right, well, back to this thing. Did y'all know that angle grinders come with warnings? This one did. It says, read the instructions and, uh, and read them carefully before you use the tool. Wear eye protection. Wear a dust mask. I think my dust mask is wearing the handlebars on my motorcycle in there. Use proper hearing protection. Red. Today's theme. Wear gloves. Protect your hand. I'll tell that finger later. Do not expose the tool to rain or wet conditions and keep the tool away from fire to prevent accidents and probably children. Probably be a good idea to keep away from children. Smaller children. It's the older ones you want to train to use them. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to give that tool two thumbs up. I'm going to thank you guys for coming by here and spend a little time with Max. I, I do appreciate it. Oh, and I want to thank I want to thank Jesse for sending me this magnificent. I think they call it a tactical knife. It's got wood handles on it. It's and it's got now if you drop this, you're gonna lose it because it's camouflaged. If you're gonna drop it, drop it on your portable tool bench here or on the concrete so you can see it. Otherwise, that camouflage, don't drop it out there in the grass or the woods because you'll never see it again. But it's got that flip open blade, I like that. And all you gotta do is it's got a little stud there pretty quick and this is a TRC force, TAC force rather, TAC force, TAC force made in the USA stainless steel as black anodized as is the interior really nice and Jesse I really appreciate it 
and uh, we thank you guys for anything you send us we always try to use it and uh, I need to be better at thanking you guys for this sort of stuff so once again I appreciate you all y'all come back and see us now you hear